Hey, how's it going? Exciting, interesting, myth-busting video for you today. Um, I posted, after the Mason Dixon show, we filmed this uh, video of the slow crawl race, so I'm gonna put it right here. And if you notice, the winner of that race came down to two pickups. One of them um, was stock gearing, he had his idle turned way down. I guess the other one was uh, had a four speed, and I think his idle was relatively normal, but he had a big load of hay. And there's a whole bunch of arguing in the comments of this video about um, that the hay was the deciding factor. And then the other side of the argument is um, that due to low gearing of the four speed truck, that hay or no hay, he would have won anyway. So I don't know, it's an interesting argument. So I wanna know what you think. So put a comment down below and then we're gonna conduct a little experiment. I don't have a Willys pickup, but I have two Jeeps and I don't have a load of hay but I have two Jeeps. So we're gonna do, um, I have cone set up, we're gonna do a timed run, so the distance stays the same. I'm gonna idle first gear, low range, um, between the cones at the same distance, and we'll get a time, uh, just empty, no weight, and then I'm gonna hook that Jeep to it in neutral, um, which it weighs about closer to 25, probably 2,500 pounds plus with all the junk I have in it. Um, just dead rolling weight and I think it actually will be a little bit more resistance than a bed full of hay because I have eight tires on the ground and I'm turning drive shafts it'll just be a neutral but it's still spinning stuff so um, 2,500 pounds with four extra tires and I want to see uh, how much it slows down this Jeep remember it's just at an idle as if we're in a slow crawl competition and uh, I'm cheating and I'm hooking up extra weight or filling the bed with hay. So I don't know. I'm kind of unbiased on this one because I have no idea. Never uh, never thought about it too much until all this argument, <laughs> arguing started. So let's put it to rest. I'm gonna post the results either way and uh, we'll see if weight makes a difference when it comes to gearing on flat ground. So this will be our course. I'm gonna start the clock right at those cones. I'm gonna idle down here to those cones. It's about 100 feet. Um, the distance doesn't really matter as long as it stays the same. I'm kind of confined to my backyard here. So the first run will be no weight, um, idling. Let's do it. Thirty-three point three zero seconds. So just to show you that I'm not cheating. Thirty-three point three zero. All right, round two. We now have two jeeps hooked together with a chain in neutral, just rolling about twenty-five hundred pounds, and let's uh, get another time with some weight. Round two, pulling 2,500 pounds. I'm not gonna say it, I'm gonna show you. 33.47. So, it uh, technically, it was, uh, what, like 17 hundredths of a second slower. It's really sunny out here tonight. Okay, so, um, about 17 hundredths of a second difference, empty or solo versus towing another Jeep. So there's the results. I'm not really gonna weigh in my opinion. Um, those are the numbers. Um, I promise I did my best 
to start the stopwatch as soon as I cross the cones and as soon as I let the clutch out. Um, so I think, you know, give or take a second or so, I, I did my best to keep it legit. So I want you to talk in the comments about um, how you think this went and did it do what you thought it would do? Are you surprised? And uh, I'm not saying I'll do it, but give me ideas for the next thing you want to see. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.